So what are we doing? I honestly have no idea now. I think we should probably have a look around. Oh, oh, okay. Something is ah, here already. Okay. That was quick. Looks like the police have given up their interviewing. This is... I think That's this is this Larry. But... Oh. That's... Uh, <laughs> I remember the voice I did for him? <laughs> It was a very goofy voice and very uh, interesting remember. anyway. <laughs> so. Well, let's see if it even hey! is Larry. Screw it. Oh my god, Santa! <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Nick, I think Santa's mad at you. I, I do think this is Larry. Or was it Harry? Whatever his name is. Long time no see, Nick! I have no fucking clue what his voice was. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea either. I did not expect a Santa Claus. Nick, you know Santa? Wow, Nick and Sank Nick. Hey, <sighs> don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me. I'm... See? <laughs> Larry? <laughs> what are you doing here? Hold on. There we go. Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job. A Santa Claus? <laughs> I sell samurai oh, dogs. God. Want one? <laughs> oh my god. Oh Gotta my get money god, for dates, really? you know? My girl, Keonce, <laughs> deserves the best. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're not gonna murder her again, <laughs> are you? Uh, Keonce? Not another model, I hope. Oh, Keonce's a fine, fine woman, Nick. I have no clue what this voice is. Oh my but god. But fuck it, I don't know. He's too cheery <laughs> for my taste. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know? <laughs> she bought this what? costume for me. Uh, that, that's great, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this Santa costume. She must be really nice. <laughs> Whoa, cute. <laughs> Nick, who's oh, no. she? She's not your, not my what? No, she's not. I'm his partner, my F.A. I'm, uh, the little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick. Must be tough. <laughs> Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Huh? Sounds great! Don't worry, Maya. He's not listening. <laughs> Can't you just say, Larry? This is the younger oh sister of the woman you gave that statue to? The one you weren't dating? That got her killed. <laughs> I think that's the logic we're going with. Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night, and since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Keonce, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Oof. Oh! <laughs> I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, it's just, uh, Keonce's not in town right now. She, she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. <laughs> I knew it. Ooh. You know what? Well, anyway. There was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh? Neat. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why would you know Edgeworth? Nick! The hell is all that... Pounding upstairs. Must be the dogs. <laughs> you don't mean Probably. that, Miles Edgeworth. Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. I was a murder suspect, too, a few months back. Whoa! Murder? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth? Yeah, Larry? of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. 
Oh no. What? <laughs> yeah, we're all uh, school <laughs> friends. Samurai dogs. Maya's hungry. Get her Dude, the samurai dogs. When isn't she hungry? That's why I'm asking. Samurai dogs. Um, um, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs. Why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look gore oh, Well, originally, they were gore dogs. Like, you know, like, god dogs. Ouch! The samurai thing was Kianse's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> she was my all, god. change the name and you go, girlfriend. <laughs> what the fuck? I get a feeling Kianse uh, bots doesn't understand his relationship with Kianse. <laughs> she made me that banner. Man! The kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Um... Something about that just seems... Wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What with the big news? The, yeah, the news? Gordy. Why did I have to make Gordy? him so damn cheerful? It does, well, but I hate him, him doesn't it? very, very much. This is more painful than being old bag. <laughs> Yes. Really? Do you know how much cheerfulness I have experienced in to like talking it? Not exactly. Yeah, I'd rather be a cranky old lady. Though today I am extra cheerful, seeing as I finally <laughs> graduated. Essentially. Well, let's talk no, to Gordy talk to about Gordy first. Oh, misfit. So, Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, last? Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Also. This is exactly how I hold conversations. You talk Oh, so Gordy's in the news? <laughs> yeah! So how about that Edgeworth? <laughs> like, I jump around topics and conversations <laughs> so much, it is ridiculous. Don't worry, I know that feeling when I talk I do it all the people. time. I had one friend who, that's just how we communicate. We change topics, go back and forth all the time. It was great. Oh yeah, I, I know that feeling. It's like, that's when you have like someone else who has like autism sometimes, it's, they just talk like that. It's wow. wonderful. I never knew. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, he's always been it kind of be, a stick yeah. in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Oh. Like yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow. Wait, you said the yeah. lawyer. <laughs> Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting what? attorney. What? Edge's got a proboscis on his knee? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, he doesn't, he doesn't know anything. No, no, he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh? Go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who are unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about the man, about man's duty to the society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind now. <laughs> Do you know, Nick? That's a good question. Nick? <laughs> I think you know. I know everything. <laughs> Anyway, what about Gordy? Um, what's huh? Gordy? You mean you don't know? It's here, in this very lake. A giant, mysterious monster. Gordy! The hell. <laughs> it's just so stupid that people even think that. And you know A the monster? sad thing? I can picture it being legit. In this universe. I mean, <laughs> look at Maya. Well, look how often she's been yeah, possessed. You're telling me ghosts exist, but a giant yeah. monster in a lake doesn't. I'll be honest. But what about Nessie? What about Nessie? Because I said Nessie yeah, was well, fake. Yeah, well, I'm sure most of the world thinks the shit Maya does is fake, too. That's true. Yeah. Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. 
Oh no, really? Wow, it's really real. Oh my god. Nick, a monster, a real monster. Um, yeah. It's probably just a log or something, right? That looks exactly nice, like that old hey, picture of Hey, there's a quote here from a person who <laughs> took the photo. Hmm, what's this? I set the camera to automatic and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion. Followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. Oh. I wish I could have seen Why it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry. Can I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. One million? Grow up, Larry. Also, we're in Japan, America. Japerica. So what currency do we use? You use, uh, you use United States. Brilliant. Yen. Actually, that, you know, you saying that actually reminds <laughs> me of an abridged series. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen it. But they talk about they use like Nebraskan yen or something. <laughs> it was a, dig <laughs> it was, it was a Digimon a bridge, and they mentioned it for whatever reason. Nebraskan <laughs> yen. <was> great. <laughs> Fun. Gordy article at it. I don't. That monster. Want to bet? Monster, I'm pretty sure. Nope. Shit. Well, let's let's take the boats. Oh, yeah, but I don't think there's anything else here. Nothing new. Nope, nothing here. Okay, I guess... Hold on. Where the hell do we go then? Back to the... Nope. She ain't around. Okay. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't see her. She's probably down at the police. Oh, that's right. She went to the cops. Let's say, anything changed here? Nope. Yeah, let's go to the criminal... F nope. Yeah, okay. So this is where we have to go. Police department, criminal affairs. Not a gumshoe in sight. If you're looking for Detective Gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Apparently an important witness I wonder up. who that could be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he'll be in there, he'll be in there a while. A lot of heart, it uh -oh. has to be. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's you, right? Sorry, I just read Poopy. Back to here? Nope. Reason. So what do we do then? I don't know. To my office. <laughs> For whatever reason. Sure. No, what is it? Mm. Oh. Nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey! I remember now. This guy. He's a lawyer that was at that office me at work at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait. You mean Grossberg's office? Yes, I love Grossberg. Right, that, that was guy. the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him, for old time's sake. Yes, my boy. <laughs> Let's go to Grossberg. I feel so bad. December 25th. Grossberg Law Offices. Yeah, the painting is still gone. <clears throat> ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha! You are mere something. I was her understudy, yes. Phoenix Wright. Aha! And you are mere something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes. You've grown. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know. You text me back. Ah, oh, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon. Um, see. Mr. Grossberg, sir. <laughs> hmm? Ah, uh, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something the matter? I love there was the a guy. murder <laughs> last night. A murder? You haven't heard? 
I uh, just got well, off, you see. Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Uh, Edgeworth, what? Well, well who did he the shoot? identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible. I this guess he hadn't is... heard anything. Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Oh, yes. I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's my just desserts. Old, bitter desserts. What if I show him something? Oh, I was hoping like that Gadoo's profile thing. would be in here. So she's 17, he's 24, yeah. Gumshoe's 30. Oh, she's 22! Mm -hmm, okay. Larry's 23. Gross he's 64?! Damn! Oh, he he's damn, okay. Keeps he that moustache does. well, though. I mean, he's pretty rich, <laughs> so... Oh, yeah. Huh? Like, look at him. <laughs> Need to present... Hmm? Strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Uh, uh. did you remember? He was a lawyer, here in my office. That's Hammond. Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond? And you say this is the Allegedly. man Miles Edgeworth shot? Well, no, that didn't give us much. Can we talk now? Who is this oh, Hammond yeah, guy, sense. anyway? Mr. Hammond. He was the defense attorney in that, that case. case? Yes, the uh, DL6 DL6? Incident. Why does that sound so familiar? About me and Maya's mother? Fun. I think so. I think that's the one. Perhaps yeah, you remember? Sure someone mentioned it during the trial for me as murder. That was the incident where the police were uh, so at a loss Dude, they used a spirit medium. In the last medium. case I had, I used a spirit medium to help me win. <laughs> Wait, you don't mean. Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Misty Fay, your mother, contacted the spirit of the Does victim. the Fay family only have M's in their name? Apparently. Apparently. But uh, the case was a loss. No conviction was made. Hmm. The DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case they indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fair used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case, and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blame my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh, yes, yes, quite. Thank you. No, please. Don't mention it. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait. What does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. W what? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait. This is a photograph of my mother. Uh, I'm, I was okay, just trying to see the similarities here. <laughs> Well, grey hair, I guess. Same, it's not really similar nose. Yeah. I, I can see it, I guess, somewhat. 
Misty face photo. Yeah, I got okay. distracted trying to compare them. I suppose. Them. Uh... <laughs> Detention center, I suppose. I suppose we'll show. To... Yeah, I suppose we'll show to Edgeworth. December twenty fifth, detention center. Visitors room. What's this? I was hoping you'd have gotten my message on the you. first time. I'm very dense. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of Thinking yours. Thinking about it, couldn't Edgeworth just defend himself? I mean, Phoenix Wright yes. defended himself. Huh. Yes. I guess he hasn't found anyone yet. I guess he's just trying to be professional. Can I ask you about the murder? Right. I'll ask you again. Just leave me alone. Please try to understand. I'm not doing this to prove I'm tough or because I look down on you. I just don't want you anywhere near this case. Understand? So he'll probably do the same thing, so I'd I probably guess. have to present him that photo. Yeah, I think so. Edgeworth? Edgeworth? Oh, that's you, my bad. It's only been a matter of hours since fast. you last visited. Yet you made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through. About the you? about the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer well, to defend. Well, I know about it. Come on, accept my offer. I'm sorry if it sounded like I fought <laughs> That's you. That's definitely what it sounded job. like, dude. <laughs> You're a novice with only three <laughs> successful trials. All murder trials and all that you've won, two of which were against me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But... I see no point in hiding anything Finally. from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I will it's ask to the best of my enough. abilities. Okay, we got Edgeworth to talk to now. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes. He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. My memories from that time are... foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder. Correct. Um, that spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean you're... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now... About this. to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago, on December 28th. December 28th. The statue, statute of limitations on the case runs out for What? Days. Um, Nick? When a case's mean? statute of limitations runs out legally, the case never happened. Three days from now, Yield 6 will be closed. Forever. Oh, okay. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent. I don't know. He disappeared from public view. 
Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years I old. I guess now. I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. I guess my yeah, case wasn't that was big. I was a murder suspect, and didn't I take down, like, the biggest Yeah, but you were like a company? novice. Yeah, that, that's true. That was actually, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, you'd think that'd be in the news. <laughs> oh, yeah. Totally. Local totally random totally lawyer accused of murder turns it against the guy who accused him and got him arrested. In other news, yeah, Rich he just <laughs> paid off his fines and kept his job going. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? I'd rather not talk about it. Didn't you just say you would answer my Gregory. questions? Hmm. Hmm. What can know. we do from here? Show him the autopsy report? Or the lake photo? Let's see like what he says. Have some things. Hmm. Who would have thought that Edgeworth, dear photo? did you shoot him? I don't think, you think you're the kind right? to point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right? It pains me to ask you this now. I know! You want us to defend you! Yes. No! Will you? <laughs> fine. <laughs> I've just been essentially begging you to let us defend you, but fine. Ha! Uh, who could have guessed this? Who could have guessed this day would come? Not me either. Not me. <laughs> this is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever uh, doing anything never for mind. you. Never mind. I guess you really don't need to know. Huh. My letter of request. Please give it to to Detective Gumshoe. Nice. Yay. It was request. Well, I guess we should. Uh, earthquake! Nick! It's a big one! Ah, it's calming down. Phew. That was scary. Uh... Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There! He's on the floor in a ball, shivering. I guess he doesn't do so well I've with earthquakes. Of running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going uh, to stand officer, up anytime should be soon. helping him? Yeah, probably. Uh, Let's go, Nick. Right. We have to give Edgeworth letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. Just yep. random earthquake. Random. Then again, this is originally meant to be like in Japan, if you're playing the Japanese localization, and earthquakes are very common Poor in Japan, as I understand. Well, regardless, that ends this yeah. year episode. See ya!